Good afternoon, uh, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen of the media. I will uh, make a short statement, and after which I will be open for a few questions uh, before the before we conclude. Um, uh, members of the media, I think that uh, that it is uh, important that. Uh, <coughs> The media is kept uh, in the loop about issues of uh, national importance and uh, this uh, briefing here today is to precisely do that. Let me begin by assuring all members of the public on behalf of the Prime Minister and the government that besides the ongoing work that the police do in the ordinary course of their duties, the general law and order situation in Fiji is as normal. The citizens of this country are doing their work peacefully. If any citizen is aggrieved, they can be assured that the law enforcement will deal with them faithfully and fairly. If a citizen is arrested and they, they are guaranteed all the rights that the Constitution gives them, they will be treated fairly and humanely and most importantly, in respect of the law. Now, I believe that our democracy and the rule of law is paramount. Any threats to that will be dealt with swiftly and with the full force of Fiji's law enforcement agencies. Anyone, whether their position is high or low, is equal in the face of the law. I trust that the Fiji police force will hold true to its duties in those matters. This morning I met with the commander of the RSMF, Major General uh, Tony Kaloniwai. Our meeting was pleasant and the commander has assured me that he shares the government's vision for a peaceful, prosperous and secure Fiji for all. In addition, he has briefed me on the status of the demilitarization of the civil service and he has assured me that all soldiers employed in the civil service have returned to barracks. He has also assured me that all arms that were used for personal protection of a former prime minister, former ministers and the chief justice have been accounted for and are back in the armory. The commander has been instrumental in the transition and his respect for the rule of law, our institutions, and the peaceful transfer of power is highly commendable. Next week, the commander has invited me to visit the Republic of Haiti military forces, in particular the headquarters of the RFMF at Berkeley Crescent and the Queen Elizabeth Barracks in Namboa. I have accepted the invitation of the commander and I am looking forward to it. Tomorrow at noon, I will be meeting with the Commissioner of Police, Major General Sitiveni Ngiliho, who will brief me on the Fiji Police Force response to the flooding situation in the Western Division, as well as its state of preparations in anticipation of a natural disaster. Thank you.